the 2024 Z06 GT3R. Nobody predicted this. This is the C8 variation that nobody saw coming. Over the past couple years, everybody, and I mean everybody, has been making predictions about the next iterations of the C8 Corvette. I'm talking about all the major automotive magazines, websites, Facebook groups, forums, and YouTubers. They were all about predicting what was coming for the C8 generation. The Z06, the E-Ray, the ZR1, and the Zora. Okay, first, I'll review how everyone missed this, and then I'll go over some of the stats and specs for the GT3R. By the time I'm done, if you're considering purchasing a Z06 for track use, you might want to think about jumping over and getting on the GT3R list. Let's start with this article from Jim Authority published last year. The same article could be from any of the magazines or websites with very little variation. GM Authority has spent the last few months speaking to insider sources and compiling information to put together a comprehensive guide of all future Corvette C8 models and variants that are expected to be on the way. So buckle in and let's see what's in store. First is the C8 Stingray. Well, that was an easy one, right? What do they got next? Next up for the future Corvette C8 model is the Z06. Okay, they got two right. Shortly after the C8 Z06 will come the C8 E-Ray. Wrong. All we've seen of the E-Ray are some suspected spy photos. No solid information, no real photos. Once the Z06 and E-Ray are out the door, it will be time for the C8 Grand Sport. Wrong once again. It has become apparent that the C8 Grand Sport will not be part of the C8 lineup. From here, Two future C8 Corvette model variants remain, the ZR1 and the Zora, set to be undeniable flagships of the Corvette family. We sure hope that this proves out to be true. This article, as with many of the others, included this widely distributed chart listing all the predicted C8 variants. The same list appeared with little difference all over the internet and YouTube, some even with projected launch dates. Yet, in not one instance was there any mention of the Z06 GT3R. Now this is not due to any inadequacies of the journalists, pontificators, influencers, or YouTubers. Looking at the press release where the Z06 GT3R was revealed, it is pretty clear that GM, for some reason, has intentionally kept this under the radar. The reveal or announcement was buried deep in a press release that was more about Corvette Racing's 2022 IMSA or FIA WEC championship campaign with the C8R. The press release was titled, Corvette Racing Going Global in 2022. Appearing halfway down the page is the section titled Chevrolet Planning for the Future with Corvette GT3 Program. Finally, an official announcement. This section reads as follows. For 2024, a new era of Corvette Racing dawns with the debut of the Chevrolet Corvette Z06 GT3R race car. A groundbreaking sports car with customer racing in mind. The Corvette Z06 GT3R will be the closest link yet between the production Z06 and racing for Chevrolet's flagship performance vehicle. Thanks to a strong foundation provided by the mid-engine Corvette Z06 supercar, the Z06 GT3R will share the same aluminum chassis, a production engine modified for use in the race car, and similar aerodynamic features. They have the same silhouette and similar dimensions. At the heart of the Z06 GT3R is a 5.5 liter dual overhead cam LT6 V8 engine with the same flat plane crankshaft architecture that powers the Corvette C8R. A real world rolling laboratory, the C8R laid the groundwork for powertrain and aero strategies that will make the Corvette Z06 GT3R a worthy competitor in the world of privateer racing. For the first time, Chevrolet is offering a turnkey customer focused racing Corvette for competition in a wide variety of GT3 championships. It's an exciting time for Corvette, first with the reveal of the production Z06 and now confirming the Corvette Z06 GT3R for customer racers, said Mark Stilo, Chevrolet Director of Customer Competition Engineering. The availability of the Z06 GT3R will allow customer race teams the opportunity to campaign a Corvette that has benefited from Corvette racing's rich history. The Corvette Z06 GT3R fits the criteria for GT3 sports car racing, which continues to grow exponentially year over year. 
The production of the Z06 GT3R will mean privateers can compete in both endurance and sprint races across multiple series. Additional details, such as pricing and support package options, will be confirmed at a later date. Okay, so we have the official low-key reveal of the most revolutionary factory production Corvette ever. The C8 Z06's new big brother is announced with no fanfare, no reveal event. Let's get on with the details. The following is from the 2024 Z06 GT3R page on the Chevrolet.com website. Yes, it's there. It's just not easy to find. Racing toward the future. Designed for the 2024 racing season to compete in the GT3 category, Corvette Z06 GT3R will soon join a family of long-standing victors on the track. This track-only race car will be the first that Chevrolet offers to both pro and amateur teams. Street-inspired track star. Although based on the design of the street-friendly Corvette Z06 and its 5.5-liter engine, the GT3R won't be street legal. The track-only race car will be modified with racing-specific equipment and will comply with FIA regulations to compete in multiple series and drive circles around the competition. The key to winning is evolving. The modern era of Corvette racing began in 1999 with the C5R. Over the years, we've developed many variations of the Corvette and established it as a successful competitor in GT sports racing around the world, including the GT1, GT2, and GTLM, GTE Pro categories. Now we're developing the next generation of the Corvette to take the GT3 category by storm and carry on the legacy. Next, GM gives us a little chart with some brief specs. Notably, GM states that the power output will be 500 to 600 horsepower. Now, before you start going on about how low you think that is, keep in mind the weight of the Z06 GT3R. The Corvette Racing C8R weighs in at 2,800 pounds. That is 800 pounds lighter than the C8 Z51. The GT3R should come in about the same as the C8R. The GT3R will have the same six-speed sequential racing transmission as the C8R. Wait a minute. A production C8 Corvette with a manual transmission? Nobody saw that coming. A racing-specific suspension designed to handle the high speeds of motorsports competition. Racing-specific brakes with specially designed cooling and quick change operations for faster pit stops. Endurance specific wheels with a single lug nut system, again, for faster pit stops. All right, that is what GM has told us so far. Pretty amazing stuff. Now let's take a look at the renderings and see what we can see with our own eyes. Starting at the front, we can see that the front splitter and lower chin of the GT3R juts out much further forward than the Z06. And there appears to be a single light bar as opposed to the double light bar from the C8R. There's also the addition of three vents in the front hood, similar to the C8R. You can see by the vents here at the back of the front fenders and the notch at the bottom that the wide body is much wider than the Z06. Looks to be about the same as the C8R. The wheels are of the spider design of the base Z06 and not the carbon fiber design of the Z07, probably in the name of reliability and durability. A GT3R race car is likely to be slamming over curbs and rumble strips at very high speed on a regular basis, and we wouldn't want the carbon fiber wheels shattering halfway through an endurance event. You can see also that the wheels are attached via a single lug nut system for quicker pit stops. Behind the front wheels is the very wide C8R style side skirts that have a winglet towards the front, unlike the Stingray skirts with the winglet towards the rear. The mirrors resemble the more aerodynamic mirrors of the C8R. Down low in front of the rear wheels is a new air duct, presumably for brake cooling. Around the back is a very pronounced diffuser and large dual exhaust tips. And then the huge wing. Not much different than the C8R wing with the exception of the supports. The new wing sports nice swan neck style supports that grip the wing surface from the top. This prevents any disturbance of the airflow across the bottom of the wing which provides more efficient downforce. Downforce is always created from the bottom of the wing and not the top. Wow, 
I know that's a lot to digest all at one time. I have a sneaking suspicion that we'll be seeing a lot of these upgrades, updates, and additions on the 2022 C8R when it is revealed prior to the GTD Pro class races at the Rolex 24 on January 29th and 30th. It's going to be so exciting watching the C8Rs this year racing in packed fields as opposed to the two and three team fields we've seen in the past years. And then in 2023 and beyond, we'll see numerous teams campaigning the GT3R in several different series around the world. Now, I think that many of you that are looking to purchase a Z06 as a track specific car may consider now jumping on the GT3R list. GM is already compiling a list of interested parties. I'll put the link to the interest form in the description section and in the comment section down below. If you missed any of my previous Z06 videos, I'll post a link to those right here. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Tim. See ya!